Oh, the Gumby reference. I love Gumby and Pokey. And I love, um, uh, what is it called? Wallace and Gromit, so good. And Chicken Run, Chicken Run is a great movie. I need to rewatch it. Yeah, lots of purple spectrums. This would be like a good Tyco album cover. It always has like sunset art. Yeah, that makes sense. Gumby is like, that is some millennial only, some elder millennial stuff. American woman is such amazing. That's such a stupid generalization. Like, the U.S. is so big, like, how are you gonna just lump all of the foreheads together? You just sound like an idiot. Where? Sarah Walkian? <laughs> KK, Saba, yeah, I want to go to Borneo next. Those old claymation shows will take us back, yeah, they're a trip. I really just appreciate like stop motion art now, like so much more in an age of everything being so instant. Is the food good? I mean, I like it, a lot of Westerners don't. If you like rice and curry and you can handle spicy, then I think you'll like it. I am worried. Yeah, stop motion is pretty trippy. Also, like, there's this documentary, I think it's in French. It used to be on Netflix or Amazon, but it's about insects, like, up close. It's a really old documentary. Wow, if you watch that, that movie is a trip. Like just seeing insects like super up close, super zoomed in. I tried doing like my own claymation stop motion when I was a kid. I didn't realize like how truly long it takes to do anything on that. Like how many scenes you have to actually how many pictures you have to snap. Taking to the house. He's so gross. Yeah. He's like the carry the ultimate spreader. <laughs> streams references like do you mean you want recommendations for things to what do you mean JB oh look the puppy's back Hi, baby. Oh yeah, okay, so you want recommendations? Pyramid, stop motions, patient, patient people. Okay, so I have some favorite movies I can recommend to you. So like, Enter the Void. It has mixed opinions. I really like it. Enter the Void. That's a good movie. What else? I really gotta think about this. I haven't watched movies in quite a while. I heard Drive My Car is really good. It's a Japanese movie. It won a ton of awards. Drive My Car, if you want, kind of like, I think it's a, rom a potential romance drama. But like, not corny.
that's on my list. I want to rent it. It's like three bucks to stream it. Yeah, Enter the Void's one of my favorite movies. It's pretty trippy. It's about a guy that dies and like it's it's the lens of like his spirit roaming around, floating around Tokyo. It's good. Oh, of course, like, Spirited Away is a good one to always rewatch. That's a good movie. And I'm quite a film snob, but I can't really think of movies right now. Everything Everywhere All at Once was okay. War Pony? I've heard of that. Yeah, I'm very fascinated by Indian reservation life. Like being over here in Bali, I've been educating myself more on Australia and what life is like for the aboriginals there. And wow, it's like crazy. A lot of them are living on land, like in the in the desert of course with like no AC like barely any water it's like it's kind of like a similar story to the US and like what we did to Native Americans it's just like so sad like what alcohol did to them like it destroyed them Pony. That sounds good though. I'll like. I'm gonna screenshot that. I love documentaries. Oh yeah, but we're talking about documentaries. I've been I've been watching some good ones. Let me think. War Pony. I have to take a break. Yeah. Oh, if you want to watch it. Okay, never mind. I should not recommend this. Is my is my live working? Okay. If you want to watch a movie that's going to make you cry your eyes out, which I don't think anyone should actually watch this movie. <laughs> it's called Dear Zachary. Dear Zachary, it's on Netflix. That movie is so effing sad. 